Hi. Welcome to Purple Scarlet Topaz. Hashtag find the answer to cancer. And today I wanted to share with you some thoughts on a situation that we see in our military with, uh, as it relates to our military uh, men and women. And it is the, on the subject of the suicides that uh, we see that there has been a rise in, in the military. Now, I am the author of the book, Getting Over the Love Hump, 99 Plus One Ways. And what this book is about is it's about how to deal with and how to get through or over, how to get over the trauma, how to deal with it. And I believe that if we were to, or if the people in charge, or, or the, the people that are supposed to be helping these men and women, or just in the military, if they were to right now begin to the process of informing these military men and women of the symptoms, of what to look out for that would indicate that they should seek help. Okay, that's uh, something that I feel can be done immediately. Okay, a lot of times what, what I'm hearing when this subject is talked about is basically it's telling other people that like for them to look out for the symptoms in these other in, in the in the people okay to look out for the symptoms okay which by then it's almost too late okay because uh, by then okay a lot of times basically you can't make a person go and get help okay especially their mind isn't on getting help their mind is is on is is the heaviness is 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 on their mind on their brain and when it comes to trauma when it comes to post traumatic stress disorder when it comes to mild traumatic brain injury those things that a lot of the men and women in the military are suffering from due to the war and things like that, uh, their brain is going through something, okay? When you're dealing with PTSD, mild traumatic brain injury, there uh, are chemical changes that are occurring in the brain, okay? And so, if you t inform them, if you say, look, there might come a time, because I believe that that feeling of uh, suicide is, is a symptom of the injury, okay? It, it is a symptom of the injury. See, our brain is, is when, when these things happen, mild traumatic brain injury, PTSD, it, it can alter the chemical makeup in our brain. And our brain is, is, is like a computer, okay? When these things are happening, see, the brain is going to find a way to work, okay? It's going to find a way. There, the brain can... Uh, uh, create new pathways okay uh, it's just like you're going down a road and it's blocked the road is blocked okay but then there's a detour okay you'll have to go around that block to continue to get to where you're trying to go and that's what the brain will do when these things happen 
there can be sort of like a block. That's the best way I can describe it. And the brain will find another way. But in the meantime, while it's trying to find that way, while it's working it out, uh, that person may experience that feeling of suicide. Okay, so it's almost like a computer. It's almost like sometimes the computer has to reboot. The computer has to shut down and then uh, restart. And that's sort of what is going on. And the thing is, is once they get past that time, okay, that time of when, when they feel heavily and com to commit suicide, if they only knew that that was uh, a, a symptom of their injury and that it, would, it will pass, you might find that the rate of suicide in the military will go down. Okay, because when it happens, if they already know ahead of time that this is something that may happen and it's merely a symptom of the injury or I, I'm not sure if it, I want to say it's a symptom or it's, it could actually be an indication that the brain is working its way through the injury. Okay, so then that would be a good sign. Okay, because that means that the brain is working to get through whatever glitch this PTSD or mild traumatic brain injury caused. Okay, I feel that once you waiting to see, look for symptoms, uh, uh, symptoms of suicidal symptoms. By then it's, not that it's too late, but it's kind of late. So if, if our military men and women were informed ahead of time and they knew that this is a possibility that, that, that there's a possibility, uh, especially if they've had PTSD or mild traumatic brain injury, or if, if whatever other symptoms they may be having, if they knew ahead of time that it could possibly come to a point where the brain will do whatever it does and they will feel that feeling of suicide, but don't do it because it's going to pass. That might be a better way of handling it. Okay. And it also wouldn't help, wouldn't hurt to, uh, for there to be sort of, a, what do you call it? sort of uh, mandatory or maybe I don't want to say mandatory but it wouldn't hurt to have periodic mental health checks for everyone okay uh, that's what I think but even if you don't have that if you if you spent time informing the military men and women that this is a possibility that this could happen you would find that the rate of suicide would go down because then when it happens they can remember that they were told that this could be this could possibly happen as opposed to having that feeling and not knowing where it's coming from 
uh, not knowing really why uh, this is happening, just that you know that you have that feeling of committing suicide. So I hope uh, someone is listening. Please pass on the, this video. If you see it on uh, YouTube or, or Facebook or wherever, please like and share the video. And if you're on my YouTube channel, please subscribe. And uh, if you have a chance, you can get the book. It's on Lulu Publishing. And when I first wrote this book, or I told the people the title, they thought it was about love, love life, okay? But the love hump, in the book I explain how uh, the love hump is, it's not just about love. It, it's, a, it's about uh, a whole thing, our, our whole selves, okay? Because if I, let's say you're single, you're not in love. That doesn't mean there's nothing that you don't love. I mean, you, you might love your coffee, your tea, you love your dog, you love your job, or you, know, you love your mother, your father, your sister, your brother. And, and it's about dealing with the things that can affect us or keep us from moving forward and doing the things that we want to do. Okay, so I hope this helps someone. Uh, if you hear it, like I said, if, if you have suffered from PTSD, mild traumatic brain injury, I just know that that feeling of suicide can be an indication that uh, it is either a symptom of that PTSD or mild traumatic brain injury, or it's an indication that the brain is actually doing what it has to do to get through the blockage that that PTSD or that brain injury has caused. And know that when you get through that, you're going to be the strongest person you know. Okay? You're going to be the strongest person you know. I promise. All right. Take care. Talk to you again soon. Bye.